So end of day two, and um, we've got the gateway in now. It's a bit hard to see in here in the dark, so I'll redo it when it's a bit brighter as well. But basically it goes up into the void, it's direct to the box there. And then the power wall, so obviously there's no cabling on shore, just comes straight across. Um, power wall is installed down here. And the secondary cabling put in ready for a second battery because we are going to be putting in a second battery in at some point. Once we've got the house done, all the rest of the house done, we will put another battery in. So that's all there. So there's the heat pump in place. All the cabling running up. scaffolding up for the uh, to do all the solar as well there's some panels here I don't have to put any panels up yet actually 20 panels in total so you see there's 20 still here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 no they're all still here so as you can see we've got a fair bit more pipe working today Looks like they have uh, got my bits and pieces in for the heat meter there for the open more open energy monitor, the volumizer tank, expansion vessels for hot and cold. So it looks like we've got the expansion vessels there. For... So we've got expansion vessels for the heating and hot water there. That's our cylinder in. It's a big monster that thing. It's a three hundred liter. Cylinder that, yeah, it's quite big. So that's in. Obviously, it's still a lot of bits and pieces to be connected. There'll be a filling loop there that's got to go on yet. But yeah, it's uh, slowly getting there. So we're getting on with the underfloor heating as well downstairs. As you can see, it's an overlay system we've gone with. It will still be screeded over. You lose probably 30 millimeters in height, which for a house like we've got where we've got quite high ceilings, it, you're not going to notice it. Um, so we're going to put a floating engineered wood floor on top of this once it's all done and, and gone off. Um, so yeah, I mean, you have about four or five days of mess, but once you've finished it, you'll see in future videos, it, it's worth it. So that's the utility room bit there. It all goes to a manifold uh, and is fed from the, the main system on the heat pump without a, an actual circulating pump. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for further updates and thanks for watching. See you soon.